Hi folks, I hope you're all doing fine. Um, for those of you who don't know who Kent Hovind is, he's currently serving a long prison sentence. He's been in prison for nearly 10 years for a crime that he hasn't committed. At least, I don't. I believe he's innocent. I don't believe he's committed the crimes that he's been sentenced for. For he, Although he's in prison and behind bars, he still has access to a computer for email purposes. And he manages to get emails out. Not very often. It, it's usually once a week. He hasn't updated for a month, but... Um, his website is secondpeter3.com. So if we click on secondpeter3.com, and if you go over to Kent's blog on that section, you'll see each one of these links is an update that he's made. Usually he's only got a few minutes to write the message, and he'll um, be very, very quick about it, and it's, it's just a, a one-sentence job. and and there'll be spelling mistakes in there because he's got literally seconds to type this thing and get it on the on the internet. But um, uh, if you scroll down the list, there's been a, a lot of updates. I followed them all from the beginning. Um, you'll see this one that's called Complaint Heldmeyer. Click on that one, and it's a little bit longer than usual. It's about three pages, but uh, we're not going to read three pages of this. I'm just going to show you just one little bit. Scroll down to point number three here. Um, this is what Kent Hovind wrote from his prison cell. He said, starting in about 2003, Pensacola-based assistant U.S. attorney Michelle Heldmeyer led a team of attorneys and IRS agents targeting this con conservative ministry. In other words, the IRS were targeting his um, ministry. They finally got an indictment against both my wife, both both my wife and I, on July the 11th, 2006, on three totally bogus charges, as explained below, by using lies, deceit, and withholding exculpatory um, evidence. Okay, so this is where it gets interesting. This last um, bit of the sentence. Uh, one of the um, American U.S. attorneys on the team, J. D. Roy Atkinson, was arrested after my trial while going to Detroit to have sex with a five-year-old. He hung himself in his um, jail cell on October the 5th, 2007. More about that below. <sighs> so, the guy that convicted, the lawyer, the government lawyer that convicted Kent Hovind was a paedophile. So, to double-check the information, we go over to... Um, there's a Wikipedia article here, but you can you can just very easily um, copy and paste the name of J. D. Roy Atkinson into into a search engine, and then you'll find mainstream news articles. It's on the New York Times posted an article. Um, Fox News covered it, but it was covered in a sort of late night back end story fashion and only once and not many people are aware, are aware of it but um, there's the guy that's the lawyer who convicted Kent Hovind and he was a paedophile and he <sighs> he was uh, arrested and um, put in jail himself and found hung, hanged in his cell. And this is the type of um, thing that we're dealing with. Obviously, Kent Hovind was put in jail because he's very, very good at telling the truth. He can provide, and often does, put complex inf information together in an easy-to-understand way. And because he was absolutely destroying the official narrative the official narrative of evolution and showing that creationism is is true in a way that is, is completely undeniable because he was so good at that they put him in jail to shut him up thing is he's due for release Kent Hovind is due to be released in um, in February 2015 
but they're trying to put more charges on him now to keep him in jail. I mean, he, he's served nearly 10 years for a crime he hasn't committed and they want to put him behind bars probably for the rest of his life but it all depends on this December hearing. So over at WorldNet Daily they it seems to be the case that they're the only media outlet that have covered this story um, and it needs to go viral, it needs to be everywhere, everybody needs to know that if if you're um, telling the truth you're a target if you're exceptionally good at telling the truth then your fate is probably going to be like Kent Hovind's you'll be arrested and put in prison for a crime that you haven't committed they'll stitch you up on charges that you haven't haven't done and WorldNet Daily are now reporting that um, a federal court Monday in Pensacola, Florida, scheduled a trial to begin on December the 1st for Kent Hovind, founder of the Creation Science Evangelism and Dinosaur Adventure Land. <sighs> so they're trying to pile on more bogus charges after, after he spent 10 years in jail. They're trying to put more bogus charges on him. And they're, they're trying to say that because he's protested his innocence, therefore he's bothering the system uh, and, and filing frivolous lawsuits. From from jail, Kent Hovine is protesting his innocence. He's, he's, um, he, if he had pleaded guilty, he would have served three years and he would have been out you know, seven years ago. But because he's protested his innocence, he's served ten years in jail and he, ha he has to um, file legal lawsuits to um, to show his innocence and what the system is doing what the corrupted government system which is not just um, specific to America it's uh, you'll find a corrupted global government system that that acts in the same way whenever he files uh, a lawsuit they say that he's filing frivolous charges and they're trying to get him banged up in prison for the rest of his life so uh, it's not right I'm standing up for truth I'm standing up for justice um, this man is is a hero he, he's, he does not deserve to be in prison and when the trial comes in on December the 1st I hope the charges are thrown out and I hope he gets out of prison and if he does if you do, Kent, if you are watching this video when you're out of prison, then I'd love to, to interview you. It would be great to get you on Skype and, and find out your story. So I'll leave it at that. I don't want this video to go on forever. I just wanted a quick update. And I think that if, if, if enough people expose what's going on here, we can get... Kent Hovind out of prison. If they think that nobody's interested in the case, they'll just slap silly charges on him and have him banged up for the rest of his life. If you are in a position to speak out and you do have a YouTube channel and you can speak out, then um, speak out in any way you can about the injustice of this, this case. They've stolen Dinosaur Adventureland off, off him. It, this was a um, a theme park that was just uh, showing evidences for, for creation over evolution and the government stole this off him and sold the assets off. It's a tragedy. Uh, injustice anywhere is injustice everywhere. So there you have it. That's that's Kent Hovind. Okay, so that's all I wanted to say. Uh, I'm Tiger Dan925, a prophecy addict from the UK, and uh, God bless you all, and the answer to 1984 is 33 AD.